Hey, let's talk a little kitchen safety this morning. Canning, homesteading, foraging for food. This year, you can expect more gardening videos too. Today, we're just gonna review some basic kitchen food safety tips. This is part of my Canning 101 series, but it's a great review for everyone. I know we all get a little lackadaisical about some of these steps. So go ahead and listen to the review and make a comment down below if you can think of something else I forgot to include. Thank you and have a great day. Wipe your kitchen down before you start. My mom always used a mild bleach solution. If you use your sink to wash vegetables, be sure to first clean those areas that hide bacteria. Cutting boards especially can harbor bacteria, so make sure to thoroughly clean them every time you use them. Keep cooked foods and meats chilled until you're ready to can them. Likewise, completely thaw frozen foods before you start the canning process. It goes without saying, but stoves are hot. Make sure to use the right size burner for the correct pan you are using. You don't want a too small burner for a very large pan. Let me take a minute here in the middle to ask you to please subscribe if you like our content. Thank you. Why did grandma have so many pot holders in her drawer anyway? easy for pot holders to get wet when you're doing things on the stove with canning so and they get very very hot so if you need to switch one out do that or even use silicone if you're putting a lot of pans on your stove remember to turn the handles away from the front so that you don't bump it and spill it on yourself or someone doesn't reach up and grab that pot pot handle like a small child. Make sure that your stove is rated for canning. Don't use a pot that is too heavy for your stove type. Let's talk about knives for a moment. You need to be sure to sharpen your knives for safety. A sharp knife is a safe knife. And you're less likely to cut yourself if you're using a sharp knife than a dull one. Make sure to keep everything that is flammable away from the edges of your stove. You do not want to have a fire. Keep a kitchen rated fire extinguisher available in your kitchen. If you don't have a fire extinguisher, you can always use salt to smolder a fire. Thank you for watching and I hope this video helps you just a little bit. And I hope that you will like, subscribe and follow for more.